Hey everybody, it's Party Elite, back with some more Imperator Rome action for today, diving in as Icenia. Of course, it is that Let's Play that we're playing. Uh, second episode only, I do apologize for that. Was supposed to be doing two episodes a week last week, though. Plans kind of got thrown off balance by surprise early access, so I apologize about that, but we should be on schedule now. And uh, with this second episode, we're going to see a lot of action. I know I was sort of... Uh, I sort of ended things on a cliffhanger with us about to go to war with uh, Ordovicia. Uh, but I can say that I'm definitely glad that that's where I called it a session because what I like to do between sessions is take a minute to kind of focus and ascertain as much information as possible before preparing myself for the next session, uh, which is this one. And uh, I've got a lot of information to share, let's put it that way. Should be a pretty action-packed episode still, as uh, we do need to solidify our power base. Like, yeah, we've grown a fair bit. I wish those numbers would go away easier. Uh, we've, we've grown a fair bit, but um, there we go. We're still not as big as, uh, as some of our neighbors. And though we do have allies to the south, we do have to concern ourselves with the fact that Dobunya over here has made allies of our allies, and I don't know, I don't feel very good about that, so just gotta be careful here. Our aggressive expansion and stuff is also causing us a touch of trouble here and there. Overall, we're okay, I think. Um, but, but, I've discovered many of things that we need to deal with ASAP. I just want to mention as I dive into this, that if you are enjoying this playthrough, make sure you let me know by dropping a like and a comment down below. It does make a very big difference to how I approach content on the channel. So if you want to see more, make sure you let me know. Hit that like button and maybe leave a comment if you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions, or feedback, or anything. Now, what's Party Elite concerned about? Well, first of all, with this war that we were planning, that I have now wasted a claim fabrication on, I just noticed that, uh, so they're at war with Cornovia over here, and Cornovia has managed to take the fortress in the area. And that means, that means that the provincial capital has been taken. If I'm not mistaken, this is the provincial capital. And that means that uh, all of these regions are going to fall. Not only are all of these regions going to fall to uh, Cor uh, Cornovia, but if we look at the war that's being fought right now, it is a war fought over uh, Ordovicia. And Ordovicia is this chunk of land. So, or, you know, there's more of it, but this is all that's left uh, with these guys. Down here, this other fortress is from a different province. So that means that with this fortress under their control, Cornovia can probably sue for peace and probably take this entire chunk of land before I can roll in. And I'm really worried that that's what's going to happen. So I'm going to hold off on pushing here. The other thing I have to concern myself with is... Uh, look at this screen. Loyalty right now not doing so hot, at least at uh, Demetia over here, not doing very hot at all. Ordovicia doing okay, changing at only plus 0.02 per month. Now we can swap this out to be uh, local autonomy, but we need a lot of oratory power for that. We'll do that as soon as we can. But my, 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 my point being is that uh, once we actually take over you know, one way or another, because I plan to do it anyway. Once we actually take over all of this territory, we're still going to be in a touch of trouble. Because if provincial loyalty gets too low, you start dealing with things like uh, rebellions and, or, yeah, revolts. Civil wars, even. So I need to be very careful here. Like, Debunya is on its way up, which is good and helpful. Um, everything's on its way up, but Demetia's really low. And I'm really worried that going to war... A trickling war exhaustion and stuff is going to cause some trouble. With that said, I don't think there's time to waste. They're going to take over all of this, uh, is my assumption. If they manage to do that, these guys are going to become extremely powerful. And uh, they might actually have an opportunity to make some friendships, some alliances, that will prevent me from growing northwards. And that's not okay. So, what I think I'm going to do is actually take a very, 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 very big risk. And I think I'm going to declare war on Carnovia. They don't have any allies right now, right? Just a little bit of trading and stuff going on. They are in this war currently, and they are winning it, so it's not like I'm going to have a numerical advantage or anything like that. Um, and their morale is going to be topped up. And on top of that, I don't have a Cassus Belly. So it is a big, it is a big risk. It is a big risk. It'll drop our stability. 
but I feel like we'll be able to recover that quickly enough. We'll be able to do a sacrifice to the gods. Again, once it drops down to negative one, it'll be cheaper to do a sacrifice to the gods, and I think if I have the math right in my head, I have enough religious power right now to do it. So our stability would be zero, not great, but not terrible. Um, that's what I'm thinking of doing, folks, and I might bring some of my allies into this war as well, just to see if we can't, uh, get a little bit of help, and maybe we can stop these guys from taking everything over here uh, by declare war by declaring war on them. Now here we've got our main war band, we've got our two uh, clan retinues as well. I think we should just get ready to roll. I don't see any reason not to, right? <laughs> right? Oh, it's terrifying. Oh, it's terrifying. Especially when you look at this map. I need to remember to change this as soon as possible, but you know what? Ooh needs a cast a spell right who needs a cast a spell do i need a cast a spell i don't think i need a cast a spell i'll be fine go ahead and get rid of you let's get you and you involved you know what? we can probably get Demnanya in here as well the reason why i don't want to bring in demetia or demetia however that's pronounced is because they'll probably actually want some of the land over here so i don't want to get them involved unless i absolutely have to got to create a buffer for myself i uh, got to make sure that i get what i need first are we doing this? Am I actually doing this? Going to war without a Cassus Belly in a Paradox game? I know what the price is for that. Am I willing to pay that price? Yeah. Who needs a Cassus Belly? Let's do it. Wartime. Let's go. Bumps up my war exhaustion as well, which is not ideal. Okay. Uh, Trinovantia has honored the call. Demnonia has as well. Cantiasia has as well. Good, good, good. Stability drop, but... If I had my math right, then yes, there we go. Sacrifice to the gods. Good stuff. We're stable. Back to zero. Now, war exhaustion is not so good. That bumps up national unrest. What I could do is invoke Devotio to try and drop it down and prevent that unrest from causing me trouble. Gives me some corruption, though. 0.2% corruption. War exhaustion eventually will trickle down, so that's fine, I think. However, war exhaustion, I think, also causes trouble with unhappiness. Yes. Wow. Okay. That's not good. Oh, well, these guys are really not happy. <laughs> these guys are really not happy. I should maybe consider actually invoking Devotio, but I, I'm pretty sure they get unhappy with corrupt uh, rulers as well. So we'll leave it as it is right now. Let's go ahead and move up and try and get some work done as quickly as possible over here. I'm worried that uh, they're going to take this right away, basically. And we will call Demetio over as soon as we can, basically. As soon as it's viable for me. Am I good to hit... Yeah, I think I'm good to hit play. Um, I'm able to get some of these. I don't know if any are necessarily what I need. Uh, we're so slow on research. It's kind of unfortunate. Let's go ahead and get the National Tribesman output buff, I think, just because... Oh, you know what? Let's keep Civic Power for now. I need to move pops around and stuff. Let's go ahead and hit play. Take it a little slow to begin with, I think. And uh, just keep an eye on all of these troops of mine so we can move in and, 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 and do well in this war. God forbid we... Wow. Never have I wanted to be wrong this much. Oh my god, I was hoping that I was just being paranoid. I'm a pretty, I can be a pretty paranoid person sometimes, and I was hoping that's all it was, but no. Nope. Nope, that's not good. So Cornova does have all of this now, and I, 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 I hope no one finds them an attractive ally given the war they're in right now. Probably not. We need to win this fast. Alright, let's go ahead and push in. I was, just, I was hoping that I was crazy talking. I was hoping that everybody in the comments would make fun of me for being so paranoid, but nope. Nope, I was right. Alright, we're coming out on top over there. We're capturing this. I want to definitely capture... We are victorious. I want to capture this as quickly as possible. Wait, we're about to lose here? That's not good. Oh no, looks like we'll be fine. Reinforcements are arriving for them, though. Oh, let's get down here. Oh, the fort is causing me trouble. Come on, get up there. We need reinforcements urgently, apparently. Alright, there we go. That should do the trick. So once I get this fortress, then we'll have uh, that regional control help us capture all of this. So I'm going to keep that army up there. It is just one of our retinues, so that's okay. We are victorious indeed. 
down here. Let's get you moving on up. This should be a pretty powerful army, given our composition. We've got the heavy cavalry and stuff, which is good against anything that these guys will be fielding. Unless I've misjudged the situation in my haste. But no, we'll, we'll, we'll be fine. So now we push ahead. You're back here capping this. You're up there capping that. Good stuff. Hopefully our allies are on their way over. They are waiting for their morale to get together. I wish you could remind them, that, or let, warn them that we're about to go to war. <laughs> that you're not just waiting like this. We're going to move up to here. Ooh. Koritani Civil War ends. The bitter civil war in Koritania has finally come to an end, with the loyal forces of Inamicus Ores utterly crushing the rebel armies led by Taximagulus Vodenosis and his scheming cohorts. The bloody battle of Heselum decided the war, when loyalist forces broke the rebel line and slaughtered them to a man. The outcome of this war is largely irrelevant to us, as we do not consider Koritania as, a, as either a friend or enemy. Nevertheless, we ought to be careful now that their nation is on track to recovery. I don't know. I feel like we should be very... I think that's very relevant to us. Go ahead and... Um, just th That means these guys are back together and ready to fight again. I need to be very ready for that. What are you talking about, game? Alright, let's go ahead and push up to here. I want to make sure I capture all this territory and have these two armies close enough to reinforce each other if necessary. Let's capture this first, actually. This is going well enough, taking more attrition than I'd like to, but hey, that's the life of uh, going on siege. God, I can't believe I went to war without a Cassus Belly. 50, so we're almost ready to uh, change this around. Oh no, loyalty's on its way down now. You know what? I think, I think, I think we need to go ahead and invoke Devotio. Still dropping. Oh no, I was hoping the lack of uh, war exhaustion would help. Maybe needs to tick over to the next month. Give it a second here. Come on, baby. Take me to November. Yeah, okay, good. On its way up there, still down over here, but we'll swap this over soon. Or by soon, I mean right now. Local autonomy, nice. Keep the people happy. Keep the people happy. Okay, we're good. We're good. Allies are arriving. Ooh, they have another fort up there. Interesting. I'll have to go after that afterwards. None of my other allies will try to claim any land up here. They're too far away. I don't think it'll be relevant to them. But I definitely... Uh, I definitely want to prevent these guys from claiming any land up here. Because if I were to call them in, they would almost certainly want this. Oh, and I don't even have... A Cassus Belly against these guys now, do I? Because my claim was on this tract of land. That's dumb. I should have... Ah, uh, I should have waited until... I should have declared war on these guys first if I was so confident in what was about to happen. But you know what? It's fine. It's fine. I've got enough on my plate right now. <laughs> hey, these guys are really not having a good time. I need to keep an, keep an eye on that. Okay, let's go ahead and get you up here. Keep you back here for reinforcement purposes. This siege will hopefully go well. The reason why I'm so worried, again, I, I don't think I clarified. So, uh, while it was dropping earlier, which is when I was worried, the thing is, the way this works is, um, province loyalty is affected based on, like, local unhappiness, local unrest, and unhappiness is a big part of that. The reason why these people are so unhappy is because they are, well, not Iceni, and they'll never be Iceni. But we have issues because of the fact that we're tribes and stuff as well, so their happiness is very limited. So that's going to be a problem across the board. Not Iceni being a problem means that it's going to be a problem across the board. So I'm worried that as we get more of these cities, that uh, loyalty is going to drop hugely, like really fast. And that'll be a problem. That'll be a problem. This is hopefully going to be okay. No. Let's go, let's go, let's go. No time to waste. Oh, we are victorious. I was expecting it to be a little bit harder than that, but okay. Go on, come at me one at a time. We'll hold the line. Oh, yeah, look at that. We've got the tactic and everything in place as well. This is good. This is good. Drop like flies. Okay. I was a little worried about who was dropping like flies there. Good stuff, but they are able to get past me now, which I don't like. You know, they're coming through this way as well. I'm going to pull back to here and maybe intercept them wherever they're trying to end up. Ooh, our ally is actually taking this. That's good. 
I hope they'll transfer it over to me. <laughs> I imagine they will. I have a couple of options. I mean, I could just take this tract of land and vassalize these guys. Like, there's a couple of ways to go about this right now. To minimize my issues. Demetia, I don't want more of Demetia. Wouldn't mind more of Dabunya and Ordovicia. Do I really want to take on another province? Ernovia? I don't know. The reason why I'm scared also is because I've seen what uh what a what a revolt can do <laughs> it's terrifying hmm actually what about if i assimilation costs oratory power eh? like if i do assimilate you let's see Ooh, that helps a lot That helps a lot. I wish I had more oratory power. Then I'd feel a lot more confident about just being able to assimilate everybody and get rid of that trouble. Because from a religion perspective, we're the same. All druidic. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay, something to consider. Something to consider. Loyalty's coming up quickly enough. These guys, they just, they're not giving up. Just stop. <laughs> just stop. This siege should be over soon. And you'll have reach over there. You'll have reach over here. I could push you up to there. No, I can't. All right, well, in that case, let's go ahead and push you up to there. We'll pull you back. Don't think you need to be involved anymore, or at least not taking attrition anymore. Have we really taken so much attrition that we're saving money? <laughs> Lost a unit or so. Oh, they have nowhere to retreat to, so they're just getting slaughtered over here, I suppose. Kind of feel bad for them, but also not really. <laughs> also not really at all. Alright, this is good stuff. You better transfer that over to me. Don't you dare do this to me. I'm not going to ask for the province as a whole anyway. I guess it doesn't really matter. Okay, there we go. Good stuff. Good stuff. I was a little worried. So, yeah, okay. I was Because of that, I was worried about this situation, actually. Alright, this siege is done. So we can actually pull back. And I think we should be able to sue for peace here. That's Ordovicia and Debunia. And then we let them keep this little area here. Or we do this. They won't give any of their territory to us, though. I like the look of this. Nah, you know what? If we're fighting a war, let's fight it to completion. Get uh, you up to here. Oh, that fort is still great. Get you up to here. We'll fight it to completion. I'm just worried about having to uh, try and keep everybody happy. Because this is going to take a huge hit when we get all of these cities and no one is of our culture. What I could do, what I could do actually, is conquer everything and then wait a while. Let oratory power um, get accumulate basically. And then I can go in there. And uh, assimilate a bunch of people. Maybe keep uh, happiness and stuff up. Alright, feels good, feels good. Now, what could I actually do? I don't think there's... If I recall correctly, there's nothing to actually cheapen assimilation costs or anything. I could try and get stuff like... Woad or whatever. But... Nobody really wants to trade with me. <laughs> These guys might... Where are you? Well, I mean, we'll think about that in a second. I can't change these guys' uh, province policies, governor policies to anything else, but I could reduce my commerce to uh, free trade, get an import route for everybody, try and import something that'll help uh, keep people happier. 
Ooh, what are you doing? Are you going to war here? No. Just saw the recruitment happening, and I thought I saw these guys pop up. There's some. There's something going on here. Ooh, Dabunya. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Ooh. Very interesting. Oh, nope. <laughs> Not an option. Not an option. Oh, whoops. Okay, this is almost done. You could just capture that now. Very happy. Be extremely happy. You could just go ahead and... God oh, damn it. <laughs> they take so long sometimes, these sieges. Doesn't help I'm at speed one. Because we're going to be doing a little bit of waiting here. A little bit of waiting. A70, 67, this is good. 0.04. Jesus. Up by 0.04. It's going to take forever for it to be anything good. I mean, uh, sorry, wait, what am I looking for? This. What are we getting of Dabunya? Just one more province. So Dabunya wouldn't be that badly hurt. Or Divisia is the one that would probably be pretty badly hurt. Alright, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Speed 3 perhaps even? Come on, baby. Get this done with. People are dying and they don't need to be dying. Oh no. Overtaken by a smothering intense depression, Thanatus has sunk into a downward spiral from which we are worried he will never return. Already lazy. Now he's depressed. God damn. But he's becoming pretty useless. To hold some games. <laughs> Make everybody happier, right? Jesus, the siege is not ending. Just not ending. The Bunya. It's too bad that they're in this defensive league. Because the war is what? Show superiority? Are you serious right now? Oh, okay. Wait, no. Dabunya is the aggressor there. What are you trying to do? What are you trying to prove? I mean, you've got numbers, I guess. We'll see what happens down here. I should have completely destroyed Dabunya when I had the chance, I suppose. Alright, come on. Come on. This has got to be the one, right? Got to be the one. And, uh, no. <laughs> uh, I also need to concern myself with uh, my bad research ratio. I need more citizens. Like, that's not our urgent uh, concern, I suppose. But, you know, it is still... It is still something I should consider. I eventually, I'll want to catch up with some of the greater nations. I want to... Oh, there's a couple things I want to do. I want to go ahead and, and become better at researching tech. Oh, there we go. Finally captured it. Can we move up here? Are you going to transfer that to me? Please say yes. Okay, yeah, good. There we go. Alright, here we go. Battle time. So, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, um, I wanna, I want to centralize more. I want to improve my civilization status, uh, or quantity, or whatever you want to call it. And I want to also, um, research more tech. <laughs> I need to do that. I need to do that. What can we do here? We can sacrifice you. Ooh, national tribes when happiness goes up. Or oh, for five years. Hmm. Okay, I will lose eight centralization because this person's martial skill. I didn't even... Oh, okay. All right. Oh, we just have you in prison. I was hoping I'd have some people that would be less costly to sacrifice, I suppose. But that's not too bad. Pull everybody back over here. This war is basically over. At 100. It'll eventually tick over. I'm hoping to wait until loyalties creep up a bit more in some of these spots. But maybe I can't really do that. I'm also hoping to get more oratory power before I had to do that. But maybe it's not worth waiting. Assimilation costs 20. So I have a fair bit. These guys are fully happy. Wait, well, why are you so happy? Oh, Freemen aren't happy. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, right. Okay, well that makes life a little bit easier, I think. Not too many Freemen across the board. Okay, that does make life a little bit easier. Huh. Is it time? Disloyal characters, that's not good. Oh no, okay. Why? Why, why, why? I could exalt you for 10 loyalty. Increases your loyalty for 5 years. Let's go ahead and do that rather than bribe. Don't need corruption if we don't have to have corruption. There. That'll be good and helpful. I think I'm ready to call this war. 
Oh, this is interesting. Yeah, I should be ready to call this war. Watch, everything falls apart, everything implodes. It's an unjustified war in the first place, if we're completely honest. Sue for peace. Get everything. Nine aggressive expansion. Not the end of the world. Not too much. And 108 gold. You know what? I like it. Let's go ahead and do this and uh, see what it results in. Everything is mine. Oh. The peace offer will increase my rank to regional power. That means I'll lose all of my allies, which I don't necessarily like the sound of. But you got to do it at some point, right? You got to do it at some point. Let's do it. Yes, I'm sure. Yes, I'm sure. Whoa, okay. All right. Uh, the Kenovian elite. Right, of course. We've destroyed them, and now we have to decide what to do with them. I could imprison their leaders and let the rest disappear, and then maybe I could actually kill a bunch of them. Hold on a second. Wait, okay. There's a lot to deal with here. So characters... Where's my imprison- what? what? I had someone in jail. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. I'm trying to remember if it was- It was just tribesman happiness that I imagined it bumped up, not anything else. So, let's go ahead and work on our aggressive expansion then. Let's try and drop that a little bit. Banish those of class and put the rest to the sword. I think I'm fine with that. Cool. Now, we are a regional power. That means a couple of things. We got an extra import route in the capital. More diplomatic relations are allowed. Diplomatic range is buffed up. Number of clan chiefs is buffed up. And government bonus multiplier has buffed up as well. Okay, great. Okay, and it seems like I'm, I'm guaranteeing the independence of a bunch of nations that were originally my allies. I don't know why that would happen. I don't want to get dragged into some useless war. Oh no, okay. That's not necessarily a good thing given what's going on down here right now. And there's that peace offer being accepted. All right, let's take a look at the situation again real quick. Okay, this isn't good. Okay. Let's try and save what we can save, as quickly as possible. Who is the most populous of places? We gotta start there, I think. Actually, no, wait, who's the most upset? Go ahead and assimilate you. Nice. Okay, good. And assimilate you. All we go. Okay, good. Is that enough? Not enough. Of course it's not enough. The bunya is going down as well. Why? Why are you unhappy? Okay, well maybe I just need to check in with... Where? Dorn. Alright, Dorn. What do you got for me apart from a bad plot? You're all happy? Okay. You guys are not. Let's assimilate you. And assimilate you. There we go. It's on the up. Okay. Sorry about all this, like, micromanagement, I suppose. I hope you guys don't mind. I mean, maybe you even enjoy it. Let me know. I'm hoping to, like, cover all the important aspects of the, of the game, you know. This is definitely one. Uh, Level Brinta. Level Brinta. There you are. Go ahead and fix some of you up. And it's on the up and up. Great. Okay. Now, Cornovia up here. I own some of your territory. Who's the problem? Deva is the problem. So you are the problem. Of course, I leave you to last. <laughs> it's okay. We'll get oratory power quickly enough. And my oh my. My oh my. Look at that. We're like a little uh we're like a little dragon. Or something. Appropriate for what's happening in Wales right now. But we're about to eat this place next, I guess. Oh, they have an alliance with Brigantia. Damn. All right. Ooh, is Brigantia a regional power? You're a local power. Small and pathetic. I need more powers like me. I need more regional powers so I can ally them. Mm. All right. This is going to be interesting. Hopefully nothing blows up in my face right now. We're able to recover a little bit. We've got a lot of money. Manpower needs to recover a touch. Uh, hopefully I can recruit soon. Let's go ahead and hit play and, and let time move forward a touch. Could get, um... I, I, I could up my diplomatic reputation. Do I feel like I'm in a precarious situation right now? You know what? A lot of people down here don't like me. I, I don't need... 
any ally of Dabunya getting any ideas. Who else are you allied with? These guys. They also don't like me. Cheap enough. Hopefully that's enough to... to prevent any weird sort of planning down over here. <laughs> Hopefully. And if there's any way to save money, that would be great. Maybe if I got, uh... When I have enough religious power, I could get the blessing of Lugus 200. So we'll be there soon. Maybe that'll make us some money. I could reduce my, um... Ooh, we have a new clan retinue. Okay, I'll take that. Clan Bolgi. Fair enough. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. I like that. Good. Now, I could reduce, like I was saying, the, uh... The money I'm putting into my armed forces right now, but I don't know how I feel about that, honestly. I'm a little worried that I have no allies. I just have a lot of people that I'm guaranteeing. Can I actually... Powerful to join defensive league, of course. What do you want? Um, sure. Accept that. A couple trade routes will help us as well. And on that note, let's actually see what we can import over here. Grain. We can get some grain in. Sure. Or wood. Base metals. We won't get a surplus at the capital. Not yet, at least. Our freemen are happy enough over here. Population growth is maybe not a bad idea. Get this bumped up a touch. Sure. Let's go with the grain. Pull it back. And hopefully we'll get some more... Uh, Export requests. I mean, we've got base metals over here. We've got uh, wood surplus over here. So, you know, surely somebody wants something at some point. There it is. Yep. Go for it. That'll take over next month. So, it should be negative 0.9 now, if I've done my math right in my head. Any second now. I want to see this first. Only because I want to see if I've done my math right. No, I was wrong. Okay. Oh, I guess our tax has changed and stuff as well. We might have got some new pops and stuff. And you... A revolt. You know what? Sure. I don't mind uh, causing some balance issues up there. All right. Trade influx. Our trade agreement with Trinovantia has yielded a splendid return on investment. Along with the flow of wealth between our two states, the movement of people is accelerating. Our city of Alavna has been blessed with a wave of fresh migrants who believe that they stand a better chance of building their lives in Icenia. Who are we to deny them? Strike the earth, get two tribesmen, or, oh god, get a bunch of slaves. Now, nah, strike the earth. We're all tribesmen here. Cool. Sure, sounds good to me. You know what else I wouldn't mind? Well, we've got a fortress over here. I wouldn't mind having some more fortresses as well. Just to have that, that spread of, of influence, so to speak. God, we got big. Who's our next target? Who's our next target? I can't I can't go up against such a massive defensive league. They are currently at war. Siluria and uh, hold on, who are you allied with? Siluria and Demetia. Okay. Like Demetia might be the next target of uh they're in this massive defensive league. So I mean I could declare war on Demnonia to get lands in Demetia. Of course I've guaranteed them. Don't necessarily want to revoke that guarantee. I want to push northwards. Ooh, military tradition available. I mean, sure, we could get ourselves the chariot offense. We've got a lot of chariots. We've got a lot of chariots. Yeah. Got 7,000 chariots. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Move down this path over here. It's not the best down the line, but I feel like I might be bouncing back and forth a little bit over over here. But let's start with this. Why not? There it is. Yep. Our chariots will perform better. Ooh, disloyal provinces. Meteor, what's your problem, man? Come on. You're my problem. Yep, fix that problem. And Cronovia, before we waste too much of our... Uh, 
go. Is that good enough? Yes. Oh god, and that's why you gotta keep an eye on that stuff, folks. Because if enough of these places drop, like, I feel like if Ordovicia alone dropped, uh, the population of 35, if their loyalty dropped below, I think, 33%, if I recall correctly, that would sort of be enough to cause me some trouble. Uh, sure, let's go ahead and make some more money here. We're starting to finally turn a profit. Look at the commerce income. That's kind of crazy, actually. Wasn't expecting that. I hope I can get rid of local autonomy soon and, and get, uh, get something else. And I'm wondering as well, is there anywhere where I'd like to build a fortress? Like, which way would I move next? Do, do I go south and deal with my own allies? Like, Dabunya is obviously a target. They're allied with Durotriga, Demetia. No. All my friends. All my friends. Not, not, not ideal. I mean, I can work on improving some relations and stuff. See if I can offer feudatory status to some of these people down here. Need more oratory power, because everything needs oratory power. But at least, uh... Base is negative 140. Jeez. Come on. You know you want to. These guys are really not for becoming feudatory states. Okay. Okay. We'll see how long that lasts. Ooh, we got a war over here against Ulutia. Really? Strange war to be fighting. This this northern alliance is kind of scary. But once some of these guys start getting a little bit bigger, that alliance, those alliances will dissolve as well, and that might be my opportunity to like roll in. Like so, for example, if Brigantia gets big enough, then this alliance will fall, and that'll be a chance for me to move into Coritania. So maybe I should actually take a look at uh, fabricating a claim over here. 180. I think I'm good to do that. Loyalty is going up across the board. Wow, Demetria is really happy now. Okay, cool. I'll take it. I'll take it. But yeah, ooh, winter setting in. You do suffer winter attrition in some of the colder parts. I guess none of these spots are suffering from it. But there's spots over here where, yeah, you get you get attrition because of the winter. Kind of crazy. Makes sense, obviously. Um. All right. You know what? Let's go ahead and get some inventions. Starting to make some money. We might want to recruit some new units, so I could get that starting experience one. Let's go ahead and get uh, probably reserve. Oops. We have so much civic power. It's like the thing we gain the fastest. No, okay. Military power as well. Oh, okay, you know what? We're actually decent across the board. Um, how about, how about, how about, how about, how about? Honestly, a plus 5% to tech speed is nothing for me, but we might as well help us along the way as much as possible. And humane conduct, why not? Last one. Leave a bit to spare. Leave a bit to spare. I don't know if that actually will make a difference to... No, it's still a basic negative 140. Just helps our integration speed. That's not going to happen if I can't make anybody a vassal. Oh, this is interesting. Lutia is pushing in hard, eh? Interesting, interesting, interesting. Now, one more thing to wonder. Okay. I was wondering if I could hop from here to here, but no, they need to share a sea zone. So, fair enough. I, unfortunately, will not be able to colonize Ireland from here. I would be able to do it from, like, up here, though. Hop into here. But, okay. That's a topic for a later time. How's this war going, meanwhile? Ooh, looking up. After spending some time in a deep, melancholic depression, Sanatus has emerged, finally able to laugh and act as his old self. It is good to have him back. Okay, good. Tired of being depressed, damn it. Ooh, Demnonia has lost all but Siluria as an ally. It's important to keep an eye on these developments. Oh, hello. Hello. You seem like a viable target. Unfortunately, I have no reason to go to war with you just yet. But soon. Alright. Let's speed time up a little bit. 
I think we're safe in terms of loyalties and stuff. Yeah, everything's on the up and up. Demetia might be a bit of a problem down the line, but that's fine. We'll do the same thing we did to solve the problem after we took uh, all this stuff. Everyone's feeling better. <laughs> enough. Everyone's feeling better enough. Let's put it that way. 1.74. Not enough to really recruit all that much. Like, I could... 1.75. Alright, let's look at 1.75 as the number. I could get two units of warriors. I could get one unit of heavy cavalry. Chariots are pretty good against everything we're up against over here. Light infantry is the majority of what we're up against. Light infantry, chariots, heavy cavalry. Archers they're flat against, but maybe that's... Uh, maybe we get two more units of heavy infantry. Just to actually have a front line here that get them to the fourth warband even though it should be the first i don't know why it's the fourth i don't remember having another one or another three for that matter Ooh, do i up our uh wealth here real quick give it a little bump for the next handful of years yeah let's do it that'll be a big bump actually we're making so much money off commerce it's kind of ridiculous and I could take it even higher, actually. I could take it even higher. Slaves need to for surplus would go up, but I'm not even caring about that. So you know what? Let's go ahead and do that. National commerce income plus 15%. That should be a big bump. Let's see what it does for us. Yeah. Between the omen and uh, bumping it up like this. A lot more money. Ooh, warrior's honor. The battle-hardened soldiers serving under Brennus Acunus have performed might mighty acts of valor. Brennus, in an act of benevolence, has requested permission to institute a particular form of service reward unique to his army. Brennus would take great offense at being denied this honor, but we might wish to be careful of allowing him too much autonomy. Hmm. Okay. The soldiers can have their due. He may become more ambitious, but the retinue gains inspired, which will give them more discipline, but they'll also become loyal more easily. Well, that's fine. They're already loyal to him. No, yeah, let's go with the let the soldiers have their due. No reason not to. Ooh, this isn't good. We're suffering attrition over here. It's our weight. 11. So let's move you down to here and move you up to there. What are we dealing with here? Still the same boat. Alright. Now that number. Need it to be at 180. Proving relations can wait. <laughs> We shouldn't be doing this. Our aggressive expansion is so bad for us. So bad for us. Still making a fair bit of cash despite the new recruits. Excuse me, you should be fine here. Oh, you know what is 14? What was I looking at? 14, 14, 14. Alright, seems to not be working for me. So let's go ahead and split you. Push you down there and push you down there. We'll blend them in afterwards. Like when we're going to war. And I think the war is going to be against... Uh, Siluria here. Continue our conquest. Rather than go toe-to-toe -to -toe with something so big up there. <laughs> I want to make sure I'm making more money and I'm in a better position before I do that. Do I get some more heavy infantry here? We're making the money. Or we could get some more heavy cavalry as well. God, heavy cavalry is amazing. Just expensive to to, main, to like maintain. One point one eight. <laughs> Literally can only get one more. Let's do it. We've got the horses for a reason. Literally got the horses for this purpose. We fought our first war so we could have horses so we could do this. Uh, let's go ahead and I mean I don't know. Running out of tech here, folks. Running out of tech here. Now, what was I saying, right? Who do I want to go to war with next? Do I want to put a fortress down here, for example? They take forever to build. 915 days to finish. But what I could do is... It's only got three people, so I need to move in seven people. Yeah, I could do that from nearby. Do that from nearby. 
would maybe not be a bad idea. Bountiful Harvest. Word has arrived that this year's harvest was exceptionally good in the city of Veraconium. While the merchant may be holding their heads in their hands, the people rejoice at the plummeting price of bread. Perhaps next they will demand circuses. What? The people should rejoice, or we should perhaps limit the drop in price. Ooh. Long-term gain, short-term gain. Let's go with the people should rejoice because that increases tax income and stuff like that. So the people should rejoice. Absolutely. Be merry, my folk. Be merry. See? Good. Good. Glad I got that for free. Let's build a fortress where? This would maintain control of this region. And I think, you know what? Yeah, I think Virtus is the right place to build it. Dorne isn't a bad idea either would cover more ground defensively. That's already got five people. Let's go with Dorn. Sorry, I'm flipping back and forth. So it's got five people. I needed to have five more. Let's start from here. Move some tribesmen over to Dorn. One, two, three. Need two more. Move you. And move you. There we go. And at Dorn, we can now build Fortress. Costs a lot of money, but I think it'll be worth it. Solidify our center over here, because we've got a fortress where? We've got a couple fortresses, I thought. Did they just disappear? We've got one up here. Good and helpful. Thought we had one over here. Oh, I guess it's just because it was a provincial capital at the time of a... It was a... Oh, I guess it was... Right, it was because it was a national capital at the time, right? Okay. Okay. Well, this will help solidify our center over here. Plus, it gives us some aggressive opportunities as well in terms of reclaiming territory. It'll prevent uh, that fort from ever capturing this one in its entirety. God, that might have been a waste of money. That might have just been a waste of money. Fabricate that claim now. I think we do it. We need to do it now. Move you up as well. We can roll in as quickly as possible and just destroy them over here. Waiting a month, right? 22nd of December, right around the corner at this point. Right around the corner at this point. There we go. And it's time for war. They've got Demnonia as an ally, but they're not in a position to fight me. Take Demetia as the plan. Do it. Then you lot to die first. Pull apart if we need to. Not waste any lives. Let's speed it up as well also. All right. This shouldn't be a problem. Oh, well, this might be. Are you kidding me right now? God, got to do everything myself. Let's get in there. Come on. Let's get in there. There it is. Turn that battle around. That's not a fight we can win, apparently. Fair enough. Surprise! that was the uh, predicted outcome, but hey, it is what it is. We're victorious here. We could move up. A little worried about the situation right now. Where did all these numbers come from? I guess they were all down here and they're using those ships to, to transport them. Okay. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Gotta get you back up here. We'll be back soon. There we go. This should be an easy win. <laughs> yep. Nice and easy. Go on, come at me. No? Not gonna come at me? Didn't think so. Alright. Just had to consolidate my forces. Not a problem. Not a problem. Now their fortress is actually capturing some of my territory. 
But once we get that fortress back, well, back, I say. Once we get that fortress, we'll be fine. All right, you push down here. You push up there and you, I guess, stay here. 4,000, we'll pull down to here. See where these guys are retreating to. Probably down to here, it looks like. Marching through Dubanya's land. That's fine. More than welcome to do that. Gotta get you in here. We don't have the numbers, apparently. What's the fort level here, actually? Level 1. Okay, cool. So I just need 5,000. You need 5,000 per level of the fort. I'm gonna suffer some unfortunate attrition. Keep you back there. Let's get you in here. Don't want to spend my own resources to, to replenish my troops. This isn't good. Losing money right now. Not so hot. Because it's already so low, that's the only reason why it's not so hot. Otherwise, I'd be fine with it. Surprising, that war score, actually. I think it's because we lost some of those battles at the beginning. <laughs> like, not, uh... Not ideal, but once we capture this, we'll be fine. More than fine. Pull you back as well, why not? And I mean... I wonder if... The Bunya is never going to give me access. No, didn't think so. I was like, I wonder if I could actually force these guys into being a vassal or something as well. But probably not worth the effort it would take. We have Starving Pops and Corinium. Oh, that's not good. Hmm. Corinium is in Dubunya. Okay. So we could change our uh, policy and maybe things would be okay. I don't know. Gets a little pricey. Cost 55 oratory power. It's okay for now. Hopefully it doesn't become a bigger problem. This fortress is probably useless. If I'm completely honest with myself. Alright. This has all been reclaimed. I cannot get down there. Yep, didn't think so. You're fine. Let's pull you up to here. The siege will hopefully not last too much longer. And I think we've I think we've got this war in the bag. We found that opportunity and we rolled in. What's your deal? You're allied with Dabunya. Oh, ah, but you're into this defensive league as well. That's a problem. Not a problem as much as it's, uh, you know, not easy. <laughs> restoring reputation. All right. Senatus Bolgius came, has come to us to ask us for help in restoring his fame among his clan. It is unclear how he lost their approval in the first place, but we should be able to restore it if we set our resources aside to help him. Restoring his reputation would surely make him more loyal to us as well, but is his loyalty worth the political power he will obtain? Let's see. It'll cost some civic power. Uh, lose the effect of disappointing leader? No. I didn't realize I was a disappointing leader. What? Damn, what? <laughs> that, that hurts. Um, what? Oh, he's also Sinatus. Okay, okay. Okay, there we go. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. Um, right, he gains prominence. It's already at 100. He gains loyalty. Or we can say, nah, screw you, buddy. Whatever, we can spend 25 civic power. It's not. We'll, we'll, we'll aid him. A good clan chief. Take care of my people. That's why they love me so much. Oh, we gain 54 manpower every month. That is very slow. That is very slow. I need to take a minute and let things calm the hell down. Well, I'm going to pay dearly. I keep pushing myself to the limit. I'm going to be in a position where I don't have enough manpower to actually field troops when a big war comes. And I fear a big war is coming. I fear a big war might be coming. These defensive leagues, man. These defensive leagues, I need to see them dissolve. Has anybody here grown into a bigger power? Local power. Local power still. Yeah. Y'all are weak. Get on my level. Please try to. What's your deal? Ah, uh, Brigantia is an ally. I could probably take Brigantia on, really. 20 cohorts. 
Plus 12 here. Ooh, 32 cohorts. Okay. Yeah. I'd put up a fight. I'd have the uh, superior unit types, I think, but... Might not be enough. You, as much fun as I've had with you in charge, let's go ahead and dismiss you, I think. We only needed you for that one battle. Thank you. Ooh, from one clan to another. One of our clan chiefs, Rikembeda Aka, have suggested moving some of the people of the clan of Sinatus Bolgius to her own rule instead. That's the guy who just needed our help. Um, not only would they be under a new ruler that would be more loyal to us, but she has promised to try to unify the people under her rule as well. Sinatus Bolgius, on the other hand, have made no such promises, but simply moving people out of his clan's land would, seem, would be seen as a disloyal move to his clan and those under her rule. All right, so I would spend uh, more money than I have. We'd gain some centralization. Nah, we don't have that kind of money, so we can't do it. It's kind of that simple, isn't it? Rika Gambeda. You're not more loyal than this guy. This event is not accurate. It would not be right to go through with such an idea. I would bribe you a little bit. Is that loyalty? Oh, no, it's going up. All right, that's good. As long as loyalty is on the up and up, we're okay. Now this should fall any second now. There it is. Boom. Beautiful. Sue for peace. Iska. Okay, you know what? Iska. Is this the capital? I mean, I could try and wait until oh, December of next year. I think that's a waste of time. Probably end this war here rather than chase after... What? Vassalizing these guys? They'll never accept. Are they in a defensive league with Ordovicia? That's hilarious. So I'd have another opportunity to go to war with them. And Ordovicia, what's your deal? Oh, you fool. Poor unfortunate fool. I'll be able to fabricate a claim on you soon as well. All right, you know what? Let's go ahead and end this war then. Sue for peace. Pass it all over to me. Give me all your money. Everything will be fine. Only too aggressive expansion. That's not too bad at all. Yeah, let's do it. Let's end this senseless fighting. Cool, and I think we will go ahead with the uh, aggressive expansion reduction because, you know... Not so good. Do it, and excellent, and you are going to be my next target for sure. I hope this doesn't force them to go looking for more potential allies. My name should be spread out like this. Thank you very much. This fortress is almost done over here. Let's go ahead and check our loyalties real quick. This is not good. At all. Work on this. Work on this. Uh, you're happy. You're, you're happy. You're not happy. All right. Got the oratory power. Maybe not the best use of it, but... Okay, good. All I needed. Now, a little bit more oratory power, and we'll be able to declare our next war. It's probably good that I need to save up, because, um... That aggressive expansion, man. Not great. This is a problem. The problem. I need allies. I need more of you to grow big so I can pull you into my wars. Come on. I've, I've, I've guaranteed all these people and these people. I have not guaranteed Dabunya, but if I go to war with Dabunya, everybody I've guaranteed will get involved against me. And it's not good. It's not good. Alright. In a good spot. Disloyal province. That's fine. It's, go it's going up. It's going up did just about enough to make it go up. And everybody else is getting happier as well, so that's good. Beautiful. Poof. I was a little worried about this rapid expansion. Hey, we're actually a dragon in two ways. We're a double-headed dragon. See, on one side, we're eating um, the gray, and on the other side, we're eating Demetia. Like uh, two mouths. Yeah. <laughs> sure, why not? Or we're like a dragon with horns. We're like a dragon with, that's the mouth, and those are the horns. Or like the ears. Anyway, sorry. Getting distracted by my shape over here. What is next for Icenia? We have no allies, and we must conquer. This, I mean, this is scary, but Cortania seems like a viable target. Their alliance with Brigantia is a problem. If we're lucky, Brigantia will do well in this war 
and this war, and this war. And then they'll become a regional power. They won't have any allies, but they'll be they'll be guaranteeing Oritania, and that'll still be a problem for me. This guy is disloyal. And it's dropping pretty quickly as well. Oh, apparently I insulted him. Listen, man. No, oh, God no. Here. Have some decency. Not good. <laughs> Wasting money on, on wages and stuff. Now, we also need to consider, as some of these provinces get more loyal, I'm going to wait until maybe we pass 80, 70, 80, and I'm going to flip this over. In fact, you know, Icenia, you don't need local autonomy. What am I doing here? Acquisition of wealth for you. There we go. And that should maybe start making us a little bit of money. Let's let let's let January come in, see what kind of money we're looking at. And uh, the other provinces, as soon as we hit 70s or 80s maybe, I'll test it out, we'll get those guys um, using acquisition of wealth as well. There we go, making a bit of money. And I should have waited on that actually, I should have just taken the losses because now I've delayed my ability to uh, delay claim to what was it? Your land? Yeah, oh well. Oh well. It's okay. Fortress over here is almost done as well. Probably it was a waste of 100 gold now that I think about it. But you know what? Makes our middle here kind of harder to capture. Should Debunya decide to go to war with me? Should we go to war with Coritania? Got this fortress up here as well. So they'll have a hard time entering our lands. I think, you know what? Actually, I'm happy with it. I'm happy with it. And I hope you guys are as well. This, though, is... Where we're going to call it a session. I think it's a pretty good spot to call it. We're at roughly over that hour mark. Had some good progress over here. Expanded our territories a fair bit, actually. And uh, even though I had to go about it in a weird way, I, I ended up getting exactly the tract of land I said I would get. So, you know what? Promises kept, I suppose. Promises kept. As always, if you did enjoy the show, you know what to do. Let me know by dropping a like and a comment down below. It really helps me understand exactly what people are interested in watching on the channel. A massive thanks does go out to all of my channel members and patrons for supporting this channel on a monthly basis. You keep us alive and running smoothly. And a massive thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Till next time. Cheers.